He's a scary butcher at Old Trafford and one of the finest defenders in the English Premier League. But Lissandra Martinez's reckless lifestyle just got crazier. From his little beginnings in Gualaguay and the time he was overlooked for being too short to a promising career, steamy relationship, luxury properties, and net worth, this is Lissandra Martinez's lifestyle. Lissandra Martinez was born on the 18th of January 1998 in Gualaguay, a town in the Entre Rios province in Argentina, to Raul Martinez and Silvina Cabrera, both Argentines. He grew up in El Molino in what could be called a humble background, alongside a sister whom he likes to call his goddaughter. As a toddler, his love for football was palpable as he didn't hesitate to kick anything that resembled a ball. He got into soccer school at age 4 when he was enrolled in the club Urquiza. Martinez spent the next 4 years there. Martinez grew up watching football and wanted to be like his idol, Gabriel Heinze. But after seeing another national hero in the person of Carlos Tevez perform at the 2006 World Cup, Martinez decided to try a bigger academy. He joined Club Libertad and remained there until he was 15. After that, he had a successful trial with Newell's Old Boys and went on to make his professional debut for the club in the final fixture of the 2016 and 17 season. Leecho only played one game for Newell's Old Boys before being loaned out. The club considered him too small for a central defender, so he joined Defensa y Justicia in the Argentine division. The loan deal was made permanent after one season. Martinez would go on to make 58 appearances and score three goals in his two seasons with the club. Martinez became one of the most sought-after Argentine defenders thanks to his style of play, aggressive, while also being known for his ball-playing ability, range of passing, and composure on the ball. The European leagues had started making advances to purchase the youngster, but he decided to remain at home. Ajax eventually won the race to sign a signature and pay the Argentine side 7 million euros on a four-year contract in May 2019. The Ajax scout described Martinez as tough as nails and with a winning mentality. In his three seasons with Ajax, Martinez was at the heart of the defense, making a total of 120 appearances and scoring six goals, as Ajax won back-to-back -back Eredivisie titles, the Johan Cruyff Shield, and the KNVB Cup. He was also named the Ajax Player of the Year in the 2021 and 22 season. As he became the culture in the last couple of seasons, European giants came shopping for the best players in Ajax, and Martinez was the crown jewel. Manchester United signed Martinez in July 2022 for a reported fee of £49 million, pounds, plus £8.5 million pounds in add-ons on a five-year contract. He took the number six shirt, worn last by Paul Pogba. After having an impressive season that saw him make 45 appearances and win the League Cup with the Red Devils, a fractured fifth metatarsal in April meant that Martinez's debut season came to an end prematurely. On the international stage, Martinez represented Argentina in both the Under-21 and Under-23 tournaments before being called up to the senior team in March 2019, and the 25-year-old has had 16 caps at the time of this recording. Martinez was part of the Argentine squad that won the biggest trophies in the nation's history, the Copa America in 2021, the 2022 Finalissima, and the 2022 FIFA World Cup trophy in Qatar. The Butcher is a tough player and his performances have earned him comparisons with former United defender Nemanja Vidic because of his winning mentality and competitive spirit. But we're here to know more about his lifestyle, right? Martinez's girlfriend is Muriel Lopez Benitez, an Argentine-born model and professional dancer who has been with the footballer for about 10 years. They actually met when they were just 14 years old at the time when he joined Newell's Old Boys. Muriel is a dancer and model and has a strong social media presence where she displays pictures and interesting videos to her thousands of followers. The couple also have a French bulldog called Polo, whom they had a dedicated Instagram page for. Will the footballer and his girlfriend be getting married anytime soon? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Martinez's lifestyle is as exotic as it gets. Like many other athletes, you will often find him going on holiday destinations with his partner when he isn't training on the pitch or giving strikers a run for their money. From the beautiful Eiffel Tower to the fascinating island of Isla Holbosch, the butcher has visited them all. But despite living a fast life, Martinez is very much a family man like we've seen in his throwbacks. Licha also has a thing for tattoos. On his right arm, the defender has two beautifully drawn tattoos, one being the image of Buddha, signifying his love for peace and meditation, while the other is a lion's image signifying his aggression. As you would expect, Martinez loves fashion and doesn't hesitate to show that part of him. Like most Argentinians, the defender is a Roman Catholic. Licha definitely has a great taste for luxury cars. Back in Amsterdam, he used to drive an Audi Q8 worth $72,000 
The midsize luxury SUV coupe is powered by a turbocharged 335 horsepower V6 engine with an 8 speed automatic and all wheel drive and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. The Butcher also owns a Land Rover Range Rover Sport worth $90,000. The vehicle comes with a twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8 engine that can pump out a robust 523 horsepower and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.3 seconds. Aside from these two cars that we know, Martinez will probably have a few more lined up in his garage. A lot is not known about many of his current properties, but the last time we checked, Martinez was still hunting for a house in Manchester. He had to stay in hotels for a couple of months after arriving at the club, but considering the fact that he's only 25 years old, we can expect him to have many more expensive toys in the near future. The Defender's net worth is about $28 million. How do we arrive at that figure? Well, he currently earns around £120,000 a week, bringing his annual salary to over £6.2 million. This is almost six times the amount that he earned in his early days at Ajax. Martinez also has additional sources of income from high-profile endorsements with Adidas, where he has been featured in several ad campaigns. With over 5 million followers on Instagram alone, Martinez earns money from sponsored posts with Boss Recovery and other brands, and no doubt, he'll have a few personal investments to add to that. Despite being a multi-millionaire living lavishly, Martinez does some charity. Having come from a humble background himself, he keeps the less privileged in mind. The Defender is passionate about speaking up against social injustice and oppression, but prefers to keep his philanthropic works away from the social media spotlight, another indication of just how humble he can be. Most of the controversies that Martinez has been involved in have to do with his height. At 1.75 meters, many fans and pundits have their doubts about how Martinez would cope with aerial balls, set pieces, and much bigger strikers, but those doubts seem to have reduced now. Former Liverpool defender Jamie Carragher even issued an apology, not just to Martinez, but also to all central defenders under six foot tall, feeling like he overestimated the importance of a footballer's height. A few eyeballs also rolled when Martinez was given a guard of honor by his teammates after his World Cup win. Manchester United fans gave the defender a standing ovation while his teammates applauded him as he entered the pitch his way onto the pitch. However, some fans held a seemingly controversial banner with a meat cleaver right at the center of the Argentine flag as a tribute to the defender's nickname, the Butcher. Apparently, the flag wasn't supposed to be shown at Old Trafford due to the imagery, but it turns out that Martinez's case was an exception. Lissandro Martinez's reception by Manchester United fans and his adaptation to the English Premier League has been overwhelmingly positive, but it had to come the hard way because just like his teammate Anthony, Martinez had to force his way out of Ajax last summer after the first offer for Manchester United was rejected. With the 2023 and 24 season underway, we'll be eager to see Martinez replicate his fine form from last season.